Well, I'd also like to thank uh, the Sterling Foundation and Northern Virginia Community College for this wonderful opportunity. Um, I was a little late tonight. I apologize to those of you that were waiting for me to get here. Um, Frank Wolf's sequence lights on seven held me up for about ten minutes. <laughs> um, I would also like to uh, express my uh, condolences to Hamilton Jordan's family, and uh, our prayers and thoughts are with Ted Kennedy's family. Uh, he is an extraordinary Democrat and extraordinary national leader. And uh, I just did want to take a moment to express our, our sincere uh, support and best wishes to them. Um, about 80% of flying a fighter is boilerplate. It's pretty routine. It's a, once you get used to the environment, it's, it's knowing the procedures. But it, it relies on a foundational understanding of morality. I know that sounds strange, but you need to know why you're doing what you're doing. And that becomes sort of a, a genetic thing after a number of years. And it relies on a certain professional standard of performance and accomplishment. But the underlying focus of doing that job and that 80% of the time is always on the mission. What is it we're trying to achieve? About 20%, the remaining 20% of that job is spent uh, in a very intense environment with limited information, with data flying at you as fast as it can, with very, very high stakes in the balance, and learning how to make decisions in that kind of stressful environment where the outcome really matters in order to accomplish the mission. And then there's about 1% of the time which I refer to as the please God get me through the next two minutes and I'll never ask you for another thing as long as I live time. <laughs> and we'll call that part of the 20%. For whatever reason, the Bush administration and Frank Wolf, through his profound enablement of the Bush administration, have thrust upon this country and this district life in the 20%. There are so many issues that we face right now in this district and in this country that are no longer simply run-of-the-mill, everyday, politics as usual, government as usual issues. There are at least three or four or five urgent issues facing the people of this district which affect their daily quality, quality of life. And we need leadership, substance of leadership, that can address those issues, that has a proven track record of operating in that kind of environment and actually getting things done. Frank Wolf has enabled an administration. He knew better, and he had an obligation to stand up and lead us out of this mess, and he didn't do it. And that, in my judgment, has caused him to abrogate his responsibility to such an extent that it is now time for him to leave office and be replaced by people who can do the job much better. I'm honored to be here, and I look forward to the debate.